David Sutter from WyoPreps.com here, and the 3A Golf State Championships takes us to Rollins this year in 2024, and uh, Keisha Edwards, the head coach of the Rollins Outlaws, joins me here, and talk a little bit about uh, for what it's like for you as a head coach kind of hosting such a big state championship event, and I know a lot of, it takes a lot of time and effort and work behind the scenes that I think people don't realize sometimes. Yeah. So, um, I mean, this is my first year coaching, so it was a little nerve wracking. Um, but the last time that we hosted state, um, I was actually a senior in high school. So I was a little familiar from that way. Um, and then I also have been helping the last six years with our local hospitals golf tournament. So I kind of already had a little bit of background. Um, but obviously for state, there's a lot more work that goes into it than um, like what we do for like a fundraising type golf tournament. So it's been fun, but it's been a lot of stuff to, to kind of figure out. So now you're probably glad that it's almost here and, and, and finally done and over with. But before we get there, talk a little bit about the course, Rochelle Ranch. Obviously, it's kind of wide open. I think the elements might play a, a big factor. How do you think they go about setting the course up that's fair but challenging to the kids this weekend? Yeah. So, I mean, our course is in really good shape this year. Um, our maintenance team and our pro have been working really hard to make sure it's in good shape for state. Um, I would say that probably like the biggest challenge that we do have is the openness um, because we don't have like a lot of golf courses, they'll have that openness, but it'll have lots of grass kind of in between the holes. So even if you are, you know, in the rough a little bit, it you can still play the ball. Um, but with Rollins, we don't really have a rough. We have sagebrush, um, which makes it very, very challenging. Um, so kind of to play on that, um, I know that when they're setting up like the pin placements and stuff like that, they try not to put it in the hardest place just because we do have those other challenges like the wind, no shade. So if it's really hot, that plays a huge factor in it. Um, and then, like I said, the sagebrush just being so dominant that you really have to be able to hit the ball pretty straight um there's not really tons of room for error in that that sense so all right that makes sense uh, obviously i know you haven't seen probably everybody in 3a because some of the the north and, and, and west teams kind of don't always come over to the east side of the state but kind of give me a sense of what you kind of anticipate friday saturday when when everything tees off at 10 a.m so um, when we were looking at the weather, it looks like it's actually not going to be too hot, which is pretty good. It looks like it's going to be a little overcast. Um, I think Wheatland is going to be a big contender. Um, his Like in all of the previous tournaments that we've been to this season, they're all shooting under par. Um, so I am expecting a, a few people to shoot under par. But like I said, our course is just so unique compared to the other courses that we play. So I mean, really, who knows? It's kind of a toss up on kind of what what the scores will look like. Well, Keisha, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to kind of preview the 3A State Golf Championships this weekend and have fun hosting it. Thank you. Thank you so much.